Uh, welcome to a special presentation for some outstanding alumni. I'm Robert Selmacrast, Dean of Virginia Tech's Business School at Pamplin College of Business. For many years, Pamplin had an organization called the RB Pamplin Society. Its members were former PAC members. The RB Pamplin Society was designed to be an extension of PAC rather than a fully functioning independent organization. Several years ago, we determined that the RB Pamplin Society would be more productive if we changed it to be an independent organization. RB Pamplin began recruiting active new members. It developed its own bylaws and processes and rebranded itself to the Pamplin Society. It became an integral part of the Pamplin alumni life cycle. A major initiative of the Pamplin Society has been the development of Pamplin College Awards to recognize alumni and a company for various outstanding contributions. The awards are the Mentorship Award, the Utprosim Service Award, the Rising Young Alumni Award, and the Corporate Ambassador Award. Now I'd like to introduce the president of Pamplin Society, Matthew Ogburn. Matthew is an executive and business development lead with Accenture and a principal with Mustin Capital Management and Consulting. Matthew graduated from Virginia Tech with a BS in finance and a BA in political science. Matthew's no stranger to the Pamplin Awards. In 2020, his accomplishments were recognized as the college selected him for the Up Crosim Award. Matthew, could you carry on the uh, ceremony and introduce tonight's presenters? Welcome. My name is Matthew Ogburn, and I have the pleasure of serving as the RB Pamplin Society President. We wanted to welcome you today and share with you the candidates as well as the presenters today for the Pamplin Awards. We'll begin with introducing Michelle. Michelle Cobb serves as the Pamplin Society Awards Chair. Michelle earned her bachelor's degree in agricultural and applied economics from Virginia Tech in 2000. Michelle currently serves as a senior vice president at SunTrust and previously served as a principal gift officer at Virginia Tech. She has also served as the vice president for commercial banking at Tompkins Trust Company in Ithaca, New York. Michelle is a professionally trained photographer and is currently earning her MBA at the Darden Business School at the University of Virginia. We also have with us today, Jerry Hodnip. Jerry serves as the Pamplin Society Special Projects Leader. Jerry is a 1982 graduate in marketing management who started a career with Xerox Corporation has remained in the office technology industry to date. She transitioned to Cobb Technologies in 2005 with locations throughout Virginia. Jerry is in executive management in a mid-sized company providing greater input into creating new revenue streams, product marketing, and employee sales development. She's married to a hooky and loves to spend time with family and life on VT friends. I have the honor of presenting the Mentorship Award. And this is designed for an individual who consistently embodies the spirit of mentorship to Pamplin students, alumni, and those in their local community. We have two winners this year. These two winners received a total of 12 nominations. And with each nomination, you can feel the impact that these two have made in the lives of Pamplin students. Our first is RJ St. Thomas, 2011 graduate in finance, psychology, and philosophy and he is currently a vice president at Citigroup. It is evident through the nominations that he takes mentorship to a whole new level with coaching students to prepare for a job interview, as well as throughout the entire interview process. He is committed to having a recruiting pipeline of talented Hokies in place for Citigroup. RJ continuously makes time and effort to help each student who is interested in a career at Citi. Hi. I'm RJ St. Thomas, and I want to express what an honor it is to be receiving the Pamplin Society Award for Mentorship. Throughout my career, I've often reflected on how a very specific set of circumstances led me to where I am today. The student-driven groups like Basis, Seed, and Coins, mentors and professors like Dr. Morgan, Professor Kender, and Professor Clock, and my fellow students who strove to excel in everything they did, who were so inspiring, could not have been found anywhere else but at Virginia Tech. It was those people and clubs that allowed me to pursue opportunities I never knew existed and supported me while I took the risks the outside world demands when you're pursuing success. And it's with those vivid memories swimming in my head and those people in my heart that I work to give the students of Virginia Tech all the opportunities that I enjoyed. 
tech students are just as competitive as the students who are coming out of Harvard and Stanford. And I'm happy to see the business world is slowly coming to respect that fact. Thank you very much, Ud Prosen. Our second award winner is Julian Eugenstein. 2012 graduate in finance and accounting, and he is currently the Director of Global Markets Relationship Management at Citigroup. Julian has also been instrumental in his commitment to helping VT Pamplin students get into Citigroup. In addition to Julian's countless hours of networking with students and his extensive outreach, he also travels to Virginia Tech several times a year to participate in panel discussions, host presentations, and conduct first round interviews for City. When VT students get to City, Julian continues to mentor them to ensure that they have a successful onboarding. Both RJ and Julian are instrumental in helping the VT, v Virginia Tech place second most students in City's sales and trading division, an extremely competitive program. If there's a phrase to describe the mentorship winners, it's die-hard, passionate Hokie alumni. Hi, everyone. This is Julian Eugensen, Virginia Tech class of 2012, and a Pamplin graduate in accounting and finance. I'm very honored and humbled to receive the Pamplin Society Award for Mentorship. It's certainly been a privilege to work with so many high-caliber students over the years from Virginia Tech. It's also been very encouraging and rewarding to see Virginia Tech's presence on Wall Street continue to flourish and continue to grow. As I reflect on my academic and professional career, the mentorship that I've received from professionals professors, and student leaders has been essential to my success. They opened my eyes to the incredible opportunities of Virginia Tech and in the financial services industry. Most importantly, they encouraged me to pursue those opportunities with vigor, intensity, passion, and focus. This university has given me a very strong, strong platform for succeeding in the business world, and I look forward to continuing to mentor students and rising professionals to make the absolute most of their potential. Very importantly, I'd like to give a special thanks to Dean Sumacras, Professor Kender, Dr. Morgan, Professor Clock, and of course, Base, Seed, and Coins. As without them, this would not have been possible. Thank you guys again so much for this high honor. Go Hokies. It's my pleasure to present to you the winner of the UpProsum Award, Zach Bolster. Zach is a 2004 finance graduate. He took a personal tragedy and channeled it into solving an issue faced by others. While helping care for his mother during her pancreatic cancer treatments, Zach saw how many patients were either driving themselves or were unable to get transportation for their cancer treatments. After the death of his mother, Zach and his wife quit their jobs to co-found Chemo Cars. Since 2017, Chemo Cars has provided almost 25,000 free round-trip on-demand transportation rides via Uber and Lyft in the Charlotte and Amarillo regions. These rides remove one less stress for patients and allow them to focus on their recovery. Zach presented this story at C20 Challenge. I encourage you to check out his website, chemocars.org. Hi, my name is Zach Bolster, and I'm excited to receive the UpProsum Award, and I'm always proud to be Virginia Tech Tampa alumni. As we all know, Virginia Tech's motto, UpProsum, translates to that I may serve. And the act of service has brought both joy and meaning to my life. In 2017, after losing my mom to cancer, our family was devastated. And during her treatment, saw that many people struggled to simply find a reliable ride to and from chemotherapy. They were too sick to drive, they couldn't afford a cab, and often didn't have a support system that could take off to go to each and every treatment. Many patients actually missed their chemo, and some gave up altogether. We founded our nonprofit Chemo Cars in the spirit of UpProsum to solve this problem. Using platform integrations with Uber and Lyft, Chemo Cars provides free on demand rides to and from chemo. Cancer patients just give us a call, speak to a human being, and in about 10 minutes they've got a free ride to treatment. No app needed, no smartphone needed. Chemo Cars is a solution that helps everyone. To date, we've provided over 25,000 free rides to treatment. We've expanded to two cities and we're just getting started. Thank you so much to Pamplin and Virginia Tech for supporting our mission and for instilling the utmost and values amongst your students, alumni, and the entire Virginia Tech community. Thank you. 
The second award goes to Blair Fiala, the Rising Young Alum Award winner. She's a 2015 Business Information Technology graduate. She's currently with the EY's IT Advisory Group. She has been commended by all executives and colleagues that she works with and EY's clients for her communication and teaming skills and has won numerous EY awards. She serves on the Pamplin Recent Alumni Board and supports the collegiate women in business through her live participation on panels, holding resume building workshops and inter interview preparation. She visits Blacksburg often to help with Business Horizons and various VT information sessions. She is also involved with the American Heart Association, Our Neighbor's Child and the Pamplin Fund. Hi everyone, I'm so honored to be given this Rising Alumni Pamplin Award. The Pamplin School of Business has opened so many doors to me, from my career at EY to becoming the Vice Chair for the VT Recent Alumni Board, and finally to empowering women in business. I can't say how thankful enough I am and can to continue to give back to the organization that has given so much to me. I know I would not be here without those around me and the Hokie Nation to support me through it all. I want to give a special thanks to my family, friends, coworkers, and especially my husband who has supported me in every step of the way and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for this Pamplin School and also just for Virginia Tech in general. Go Hokies. We're delighted to present the 2020 Corporate Ambassador Award to KPMG. KPMG is one of Pamplin's top employers across multiple departments. Number one in ACIS, number two in finance, number three in BIT, and number two overall for Pamplin. In 2018, KPMG prioritized launching a new and innovative degree program with Pamplin's Accounting and Information Systems Department. The yield was the highly selected Master of Accounting and Data Analytics MATA program. Participation in KPMG's MATA program directly aligns with Pamplin's mission to offer a world-class education to our students. The genesis of the Accounting and Analytics option relates to the increased emphasis on analytics within the profession, along with exposure and understanding of the KPMG MATA program with an emphasis on data and analytics. We're one of nine universities nationally where this degree is offered. In addition to this degree program, KPMG has made special resources available to our faculty and has invested in workshops for faculty development. This past summer, the KPMG Foundation and the KPMG VT partners made a significant philanthropic investment with a $2.5 million commitment to name the KPMG Foundation and Lynn and Ben Dowdy undergraduate program suite in the new Global Business and Analytics Complex. Lynn Dowdy, the immediate past CEO of KPMG and Pamplin ACS alumna will be accepting this award on behalf of KPMG. Matt, on behalf of KPMG, it is my distinct honor to accept the 2020 Corporate Ambassador Award. And I especially want to accept it on behalf of the 358 current Virginia Tech alum at KPMG. Uh, KPMG and Pamplin have had a long and rich partnership, uh, innovating together, uh, making a difference in issues that matter, uh, developing the next generation of Hokie alum. Uh, who live our shared values and who are committed to UDPROSUM. So it continues to be KPMG's privilege to support Pamplin, uh, but it, importantly, please know uh, that KPMG and the entire business community are enriched by you and your mission and your work and your students. And for that, we will be forever grateful. Thank you again for this award. As a member of the Pamplin Society leadership, I am Gafar Chowdhury, and I would like to congratulate all of our award winners. We welcome you to engage with the Pamplin Society as we plan and promote to alumni and strategically support projects and initiatives for Dean Summercrest and the Pamplin College of Business. I look forward to seeing you soon. Go Hokies.